Today we'll make black currant berry juice. I was given actually three bags of 25 kilos each of this black currant berries and I decided to do some liqueur and now with the rest I'll do juice. I've got my steamer here set up in the kitchen just a regular little I think 15 liter uh, machine so bottom part you put water in and then you've got the juicer uh, and then the steamer and then where you put your berries in it's a very simple process I've done it before it tastes excellent so after a while probably an hour I will show you the finished result so the top part of the steamer I filled up with berries so that's where the berries go and the middle part is where the juice will stop and then the lower part is where the water is so basically the water is boiling the steam comes up here and then it extracts the juice from the berries with the steam and then it comes out of the spout into here that's where I cool it down a bit before I put it in bottles and it's good for last time I did it uh, I don't know in the fall sometime and I'm still drinking it very good juice nothing added to it pure juice no sugar no additives uh, the reason why it lasts so long is because it's uh, pasteurized basically the temperature reaches 85 degrees Celsius and that's good enough uh, for the juice to pasteurize and to keep for a long, long, long time. All right, so we've just started. Within an hour, the juice starts flowing and I'll show you uh, how it looks like. So half an hour later, uh, the juicer has been going for half an hour. We've got the first juice. Here it is. Ah, I can smell it. And that's how it looks in a pot yeah. the mass is reducing and the juice is flowing so I let the juice usually cool down a little bit before I fill it in bottles so first juice in a bottle now tell me doesn't that look good especially when you know this is pure juice no additives no sugar it's just a pure goodness <clears throat> here we have the first bottle of black currant berries juice a one liter of health, one liter of taste, one liter that can keep for over a year. And now we'll see what's happening in a pressure cooker. I uh, feel pressure cooker <laughs> in a juicer. So you see the berries are being reduced to pulp. And the juice is flowing to the spout here. Here you see the result. Uh, after one hour of steaming the berries, we got two and a half liters of black currant juice. Black currant uh, berries juice. And here I've got the next pot going. This pot takes uh, 7 liters, 7 liters of berries, 3 liters of water, gives you 2.5 liters of juice. 